guys, VD Predator here. So, just right off the bat, welcome to another episode of Car Workshop, where I teach you guys anything, the little bit that I know about making custom superstars in WWE 2K, um, and really just Photoshop and Paint.net tutorials in general, and just how to. Sh really, I'm just showing you guys how to make your own logos, your own templates to make your creation on WWE 2K games much, much easier and uh, more polished. So, without any further ado, I just want to thank you guys for all the really cool suggestions you guys uh, made in the last video. And uh, I'm going to be getting to work on a lot of them, but uh, some one today that um, you guys seem to have suggested the most was the custom tattoos tutorial. So, because of that, this is what we're going to be doing first, and um, really it's pretty simple. But uh, first off, you're going to need the Paint.net software. To get it, all you have to do is search in Paint.net, download in your Google search bar, whatever you have, Bing. If you're a weirdo, who knows? I don't know what you guys use. But yeah, all you have to do is find Paint.net, downloaded it, and um, that's not it. Um, so Paint.net comes with a lot of really cool tools that you can use, like the magic wand that you can actually use to delete um, background images like clicking on the uh, color that you want deleted and then you click delete on your keyboard and just like that you get rid of the background and that can be really useful but it's just not enough of what we need today to make custom tattoos so to make your own custom tattoos you guys are going to have to open up your google chrome or whatever you use again i don't judge maybe use internet explorer only time i ever used that was to search up chrome but uh, all you have to do is search in paint.net plugins and uh, you'll get this and second option should be plugins publishing only paint.net forum you're gonna go ahead and go to that you're going to go on down to uh, plugin packs now every plugin pack that has an installer with it uh, has a star right here and uh, if you go all the way down I'll try to leave a link to it in the description but yeah this is really easy to find but if you go down to red orchard plugin pack 10.1 you just click on that and uh, here it is with the installer all you do is download this zip right here open it up uh, run the installer and you should be good to go but this one comes with all kinds of handy things um, really the most of what you're actually gonna need is down here let's see right around where is it at but again this comes with a lot of cool things you're gonna be using the uh, two-tone threshold thing that it adds two-tone threshold effect that it adds to your paint.net this uh, right here basically what this does is it takes um, your image and it processes it down to two colors only two tones uh, you can use black and white uh, secondary primary or what we're using today black and primary so you can get um, basically turn anything into a coloring book image basically so with that being said now you should be good to go so as you guys saw I deleted the background on this image this is gonna make it a lot easier but again just to do that all you do is select your magic wand tool right here go over to the background that you want to delete left click on it and then you should you can mess around with the uh, tolerance a little bit to see how much you want to select but yeah, that's pretty much it and you click delete and then once you have that, we should be should keep all the edges nice and clean, uh, so your tattoo doesn't have like a weird black square around it whenever you post it, whenever you put it on your custom superstar. Next, we can go to adjustments, all the way down to two tone threshold. Open this up, and uh, we're gonna go click open this color thing, since yours will probably be uh, on primary secondary by default. You're gonna go down to primary and transparent, or black and transparent. Uh, which will work just fine. Next, uh, you're going to just really just play with this a little bit. As you can see, um, here if I move this out of the way, the more you play with it, you get more shading and you can enhance like the kind of like the details of the image, but it'll get rid of all the other unnecessary color that you didn't need. And yeah, that's pretty much the basics of this. Now, uh, how to find these images that'll make good, you know, custom tattoos. That's a little bit, a little bit of a challenge, but not really. So look, now that we're done with this, that's all we had to do. Now we just have to click File. See if you guys hear a song in the background. It's my brother. He's working on the birdhouse. Really nice birdhouse, by the way. 
You're gonna hit file, save as. Oh, this is my Dakota Kai file. I this is actually another Cobb Workshop thing I'm working on right now, the Team Kick Attire. Let's see. Pictures, camera roll. We're gonna go down to my tattoos folder. And uh, we're gonna save it as Tiger Face. And make sure you save it as a PNG portable network graphic. Uh, this will keep your background transparent. So whenever you put it on your custom superstar, you don't get like a white background or some weird, weird blending effect. Uh, you should be good to go. Then you just have to go. And uh, of course, now you're done. That's all it was, all it is to it. Uh, just to uh, give you guys a better understanding, we'll try it uh, one more time. And then I'll show you guys where to get the images to make this kind of stuff. All right, so once again, we're gonna hit our magic wand right here. We're gonna click on the background. We're gonna mess around. You see how it's deleting a little bit of the feathers up top? So we're actually gonna mess around with the tolerance a little bit so we can keep a bit of the feathers. Then we're gonna hit delete. And uh, yeah. then we're gonna go to adjustments, two tone thresholds. And again, mess around with this all you want. Uh, it depends on how much shading you want, how much detail. Again, it's just a really, really useful tool, and I love that it. I love this uh, Paint.net plugin pack. It is amazing. It's a freaking lifesaver, guys. All right, so we're gonna hit OK, and then again, File, Save As, PNG, and um, we'll call this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we'll call it. And again, save this PNG, and OK and we're good to go on that one now All right, so now uh, to show you guys how you find the images you know to make into your tattoos uh, we're gonna go open up a new image right here all you do is click in add your width and height I'd recommend 800 by 800 pixels uh, this gives you a good even square which um, you'll be uploading to on the community creations thing it's like 512 by 512 but uh, 800 by 800 seems to be fine all right, so we're going to open up our Google Chrome, and we're going to go to Google Search, of course. It's Google Chrome, guys. Come on. Uh, we're going to search up cool tattoo designs. This is just a really great way to find uh, fast and easy tattoos that you can transfer over. Um, so here's one I found a while ago. It's like this really cool Cthulhu-type sea creature skull. I thought it was really freaking sick. So we're going to go ahead and open image in new tab. Because we want the full size image when we copy. Alright, we're going to go ahead and copy image. Open up our paint.net new image. We're going to go to paste right up here, the clipboard. And we're going to go ahead and stretch out a little bit to match with the thing. We're going to go ahead and pull it to the center a little bit. And that should be good. Alright, we're going to get our magic wand again right here. We're gonna click the background, left click that is, then we're gonna hit, that should be good right around there. I think that tolerance is pretty good. We're gonna hit delete. And now you may have noticed this little, um, you may have noticed this little bitty, uh, what's it called, watermark down here. You can get by that really easy. Just go to your eraser, make it big. That's a little too big, but turn your hardness all the way to 100. And there you go, that's gone. Now we can go back to this, go back to adjustments, two-tone threshold once again, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, toy with it a little bit to get uh, the, the amount of shading you want. I think that looks really, really cool. That looks dope as shit. I actually really enjoy that. I might, I might even put that on Predator, no lie. File save as. Again, don't forget guys, most important part of this process, save it as a PNG. If you save it as a JPEG, guys, it's gonna, it's gonna look like shit on your custom superstar, alright? Again, we'll name this one, uh, I don't know how to spell it, Cthulhu, so, uh, cut Ulu. Yeah, that's, that's right. Put two, 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 and, uh, yeah, save it as a PNG. All right, so um, these are all really cool. One, you know, maybe a tattoo you'd put on your forearm or maybe your shoulder or something like that. But you can also find really cool sleeves on here. So if you go down further in the cool tattoo designs, see uh, this one right here. This is a full sleeve. 
Uh, let's see if we can find a better one because that one looks a little janky. I don't really like it. I don't like any of these to be honest. Alright. Should be another one down here that I saw earlier. Here it is. This beauty right here. So again, you can do custom tattoo sleeves, the entire sleeve, just like this as well. It works the exact same. All you do is open image in new tab, copy image. You're going to open up your paint.net files. We're going to go ahead and delete this. All right, we're going to go ahead and paste from our clipboard and stretch it out a little bit to match the thing, to match the image we're already working with. All right. Instead of putting it to the center, we're going to keep it over here for one re for a reason I'll get to in later, but uh, it'll make it easier uh, later on. So next up, we're going to hit our magic wand. Again, it's the most useful tool in Paint.net. It's a it's amazing, guys. It really is. We're going to highlight our background, and we're going to delete once again. Hit to adjustments. Uh, two tone thresholds. I almost completely forgot what I was doing, guys. I almost stroked out, but it's okay. Um, again, just play with uh, play with what you want here. Uh, whether you want uh, dark, you know, shadows or really intricate shedding details, you can get that with this two-tone threshold thing. I think that's pretty good right there. Next up for these sleeves, um, 2K has a problem with uh, arm sleeves. It tends to make them very, very skinny. You know, it just really shrinks them inwards. And that looks really weird uh, once you put it on your custom superstar. So what we're going to do to counteract that, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit this little rectangular select right here. We're going to click up here at the corner, and we're going to come all the way down, highlighting the entire tattoo sleeve. That should be good. Then we're going to go to the move selected pixels. It's this mouse head right here with the uh, cross, the four arrows. You guys, you guys right here, all right? And uh, next, we're going to stretch it out as far as we can. I know this looks super weird right now, but uh, it'll make sense once you load it into the game. All right, then we're going to go and edit, deselect, or control D if you're using your shortcuts. And then we just have to file and save as. And we'll go ahead and save this one as. Again, I've already done this. I did it earlier to make sure that it would work for you guys before I tell you to do this, something like this. But we saved it as sleeve clause. So here's the exact same tattoo right here. So we're going to go ahead and cancel saving it because I already have it saved. And of course, next up, all you have to do to upload these creations, you know, just go to the WWE 2K19 uh, image uploader. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to 2K and I'll show you guys how to apply these images to your custom superstar. All right, guys, now that you're on WWE 2K19, you've already uploaded your custom logos and everything and you're good to go all you do now is open up your custom superstar and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how these tattoos are gonna look by applying them to my custom superstar predator we're gonna go down to custom images and uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply the uh, the nice new sleeve I made first again this is right here apply you're gonna go ahead and click down on the right thumbstick so we can change the mapping we're gonna make this nice and big all right this is really slow really slow moving all right and that looks around it looks pretty good right about there I, I'd say we we'll go ahead and click OK and this is the most important part about tattoo guys you got to bring down your opacity a bit because you know fresh new tat even fresh new tattoos aren't that goddamn vivid you know what I'm saying um, so this right here, I'd say, looks looks about right. I think that's pretty fair for a fairly old tattoo, I'd say. Uh, again, we're just going to accept. And uh, as you can see, there's some blank spots in there, but not to worry. We can actually fill them in really, really easily. Uh, go down to Images. Once again, Custom Images. We're going to go to Currently Use. We're going to bring up the same sleeve that we just used. It'll make it fit in nicely. Uh, again, we're not going to change the mapping on this one, actually. We're just going to stretch it out to kind of fill in the gaps. All right, I'd say that's about about where I want it. Again, don't worry about how it looks right now, because once you set the opacity, it should fix most of the problems. Again, that looks pretty decent right around there, I'd say. Yeah, it looks about right. Uh, we'll go ahead and tilt it a little bit bring it down a little bit and I'd say that's probably pretty good 
I'm gonna hit our opacity, I'm gonna bring it way, way down. Um, try to match it up as best you can with the other one. Again, let's say that's about good right around there. I'd say it looks pretty good. Now you have a full sleeve with all filled in gaps. It looks nice and neat and you are good to go on your sleeve. So it works pretty alright. Paint.net is a great software and a great alternative to Photoshop and other expensive softwares out there guys. Um, we're going to try out the other tattoos so I can show you just how they look. And, uh, you know, so you guys know that these tattoos, you know, this is the best way I have found so far to make your own custom tattoos for WWE 2K19. Alright, so let's use this one. Um, again, I really like the way this one looked. Uh, you were going to go ahead and change the mapping because we don't want blurred lines on a tattoo. Because how many tattoos have you guys seen that just fade off into nothing? Wow, that looks really crazy. I say it's a really cool rib tattoo, but again, that's way too big. All right, let's see. Let's say right about, right about there looks all right to me. We're gonna go ahead and bring down the opacity some again to match all the other tattoos, and um, yeah, I'd say that right around there looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it looks perfect. Where is it at? There it is. And, um, yeah, go ahead and change the mapping. Want it to look all nice and neat, no blurred lines when we stretch it out. Wow, that looks crazy, you guys. Yeah, that right there looks, uh, I'd say pretty damn good. I actually really like it. Uh, again, we're going to change the opacity, bring it down to match all the other tattoos. And, yeah, I'd say... And uh, one thing about tattoos is sometimes they don't blend in well together. As you can see, uh, maybe that tattoo doesn't go well with the tiger piece on his back. But again, it's all about what you guys want, what kind of tattoos you like, and what you want your custom star to look like. So with that being said, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found a little bit of information in it. And if you didn't, let me know. And um, yeah, I guess I'll... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do if you guys don't find this useful. But uh, if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with more videos. And I really enjoy this. And if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to share this video and any other videos on this channel that you guys like. Helps me grow, helps the channel grow, and helps me make more content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for this episode of Ka Workshop. I will see you next time with another cool tutorial or just fuck around um, attire creation. Thank you guys. VD Predator out. I will see you next time. But before I go, let me hit you with the two sweet brother brother.